I started flipping through it the other day. I was quite impressed. Um, I thought it was really, really good. Um, definitely love the graphics. This is some of the best noir vampire work I've seen in a long time. The, the book is solid. It's uh, fantastically written, and I truly love it. Thank you very much. I'm very impressed. Uh, it's great, great artwork, great story. Uh, I thought Vampire Conspiracy was just one of the greatest things I've ever read, to be honest with you. Like, it just sucks you in from the first page, because it's very... Very much like Saw, just with them maybe trapped in that room. But it's it's beyond anything I've ever read before. And the character of, of Rylos, yes. that's the best character name, I kind of forget. That's it. Was um, reminiscent of Dracula, just in his presence and in the power that he seemed to possess. That and the sex appeal, too. I mean, like, it's a vampire, obviously. But just really well done. This is an amazing comic book. This is one of the best I've seen in a very long time. And it freaking rocks. And yeah, just. I offer, I tell people, they must get. It is a great, great magazine, and I can't wait to see the movie. I thought it was great. It was really well done. The art was excellent. The story, I, man, the story, primo. Honestly, I thought it was great. Wonderful. Our work was fantastic. Oh, I loved it. So, uh, just watched it last night. You know what? It's like, if you love Cube, you love this. It's excellent. I thought it was an amazing movie. I sat down with my soon-to-be daughter-in-law because we're so into vampires. We read, flipped through the comic book and we saw the DVD and it was amazing. I thought it was really great. The illustrations were great. The film was well edited and put together and the concepts were really great. And I really enjoyed it. The, the story had me going from beginning to end. It encapsulates you in the, encapsulates you in the moment. Very, very well done. No, I thought it was great. I watched it all the way through, loved it, would watch it again and recommend it. I love the artwork. The story is awesome. It's kind of profound in its own way. It's not like the traditional vampire graphic novel. Amazing. I didn't even realize that a vampire graphic novel could be that awesome. I, I thought it was, uh, it was a great, uh, great read. Uh, it was uh, uh, gripping right to the end. It rivals uh, rivals uh, anything I've read. I was really impressed with the writing. I thought like the, the story was really lean and there was no like extra frills, which I really hate about a lot of stuff. They just throw scenes in there or little things that, that don't really make sense just because they think it's cool, but I, I really like how lean it was. I, I'm not a, I wasn't a huge vampire fan. I met I came at the Fan Expo and decided to give it a shot, bought the comic, loved it. It had me from the moment I opened it up to the moment I closed it. The art was phenomenal. The story, it reminded me of, it was like Vampires Meet Saw. It, it was a tw one twist right after another. It's a good book. It's a good graphic novel. You should pick it up. Well, um, I definitely liked how it kept you in suspense and slowly, like little by little, revealed the connections between the characters. It gave you reason to want to keep reading. And it threw just enough twists in to keep you guessing. It was definitely one of the better comics I've read. Well, I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was a very unique and refreshing view on what you could consider done to death, no pun intended, the vampire genre. I thought the art was just phenomenal, maybe uh, just not, I'd like to say it reminded me of something, but it really didn't, it just felt very at home, this art, just right in the story, it really complemented it really well. Yeah, it's a good horror read, right? You know, lots of blood, uh, vampires, violence, good times. But it really is startling. The, the graphic work and it's it's easy like sometimes you watch these shows and they kind of go wandering off no this one it's it's really good easy progression you can actually follow the story and enjoy the artwork as well really 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 good on a scale of one to ten how would you rate the comic? nine and a half nine and a half yeah really yeah that's great Sorry. Definitely not. I'd say nine and a half. It was absolutely amazing. Oh, the story? No, I loved it. The story was great. On a, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate it as a vampire film? Thirteen. Nine point five. I thought it was great. 
On a scale of one to ten? Ten. I totally worth every cent I spent on it. We were worth twice as much. Well, like I started reading and I like I just couldn't put it down. On a, surprising. So far on a scale of one to ten, what would you give it? Oh, I definitely give it like a thirteen. Oh, great. Yeah. That's our second thirteen. Just second thirteen. Yeah. A nine. Uh, I give it an eight. I have to give it fifteen. Fifteen. I'd say about a seven. Seven. Seven eight. I'd give it a nine point five. A fair 9, 10. I would definitely give it a 10. Scale of 1 to 10? Geez, solid 9, I'd say. 1 to 10? I'd give it a good 8. Um, and this really was excellent. I'd say it was about a 10 because the graphic work, it just pops out at you. 